had a magnificent weekend. We have an ultra exciting broadcast in store for you. Let's kick it over to Chase and Jake and see what they have in the Mustang stable. Hey, Chase and Jake back in the saddle for you this week as we dive right into our sports. First, Mustang football team headed down I-75 in their nice charter bus to make the Pirates walk the plank with a score of 42 to 20. Pigskins were carried into pay dirt by your very own Nate Beasold, Bryce Donnelly, and special shout out to Nolan Burst and Jan Neufeld who all scored their first varsity touchdowns. Nice job, fellas. On to the men's cross country team who ran their butts off at, at Masterson Station Park. <laughs> they placed fifth in the race and congrats to the senior guys team who placed second in the senior division. Now we want to wish our luck to the bowling squad as they tried to down the thoroughbred of Gorgons. Wow, that sounds like some foreshadowing to me, Jake. 3.30 at Southern Lanes. Be there. Well, that's all we have. Have, have a, a great, great week. week, Mustangs. This is all of our fall sports teams on a fall-tastic season. And good luck to all of our winter sports teams. I'm sure they will have snow-amazing seasons. Last week, future Mustangs visited to see what Brossard's all about. Let's take a look at the footage. to my boy Harrison. Next, let's get hyped for sand volleyball. Uh, how many years have you been doing the sand volleyball program here? I think uh, we've been playing intramural sand volleyball for about eight years now. The best team I have ever been on, I think we, uh, I won it the year with Mark and Chase Flume and all those guys, but that was years gone by. Uh, the cost is $25 and the cost goes to paying for t-shirts. Each team gets individual t-shirts and then the rest goes to renting the courts, we have to rent. Um, they charge us $30 an hour per court. Um, so we end up being about 240 bucks or so a week we pay. 
Well, why I think you, should you play sand volleyball? Well, you should play sand volleyball because it's a great way um, to meet other people. They have a good time to yell and scream, to get a little bit of a little, I guess, a bit of that competitive edge off, but also a chance to uh, really make the second and third quarters go a lot faster. Because otherwise, you know, these are kind of the dull days of uh, of school, I think. And all of a sudden now you got something to look forward to on a Tuesday, Wednesday, me spiking the ball in your face, whatever it takes to make that day go better for you. Do you have any advice for the freshman teams maybe joining this year? Well, normally our seniors carry the league. But, you know, if the freshmen would end up showing up a little bit, right? The fresh, We usually have a couple freshman teams play. Um, but if we get a few more in there, you know, I think it'd be a much more competitive league, give them somebody to play against. I think they always like playing against each other. Uh, Matt is calling out his shot. He said he's going to win it this year. But uh, I think maybe some of the freshmen could take him down. Uh, I guess that's all we have for you, Mr. Thank you. All right, thanks. All right, am I up? I'm standing here live with the only remaining champion of last year's ISVL season, Cole Quitter. Um, Cole, how does it feel being the last remaining champion, especially after your brother quit in the semifinals? Feels great. I had to really step up in that final round. Got the job done. Good. Now, are you going to have Frank's flow this year? Are you going to make no. up for him? They didn't really like the hair. Sorry, Mr. Holmes. Who are going to be the members of this year's super team that you're going to head? Uh, baby Chris Martin. He'll be on that for sure. Interesting first choice. Oh, yeah. Anybody else, or is that all you need? Not right now, that's it. All right, well, thank you, Mr. Clark. It's been nice talking to you. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Here comes the fool. Y'all don't really worry like that. Good luck to all the teams. Make sure to bump, set, and kill the competition. Lastly, the 8th graders will brighten the mood with our weekly weather. Good morning, Mustangs. This is the most accurate forecast you'll ever see. Hi. Okay. Monday is supposed to be a high of 69 and a low of 55. It's going to be partly cloudy, so I'd wear your sweatshirt. Today is Tuesday, and we have a high of 75 and a low of 54. On Wednesday, we will have a high of 71 and a low of 51, and it will be partly cloudy, and hope you have a good day. Thursday will be sunny with a high of 69 and a low of 54. On Friday, we are going to have a high of 63 and a low of 50, and it's probably going to be raining, so you might want to bring your rain jacket. On Saturday, it'll have a high of 61 and a low of 46, and it'll be very rainy that day. So the high for Sunday is 59, and the low is 46, and it's supposed to be raining, so you might want to bring an umbrella to church. That's, That's all for the weather. weather. Have, have a great, great week. week. Thanks for tuning in on this fine Monday morning, Mustangs. We will whip around and see you next week.